Harry gave up a lot when he decided to throw away his family and all his traditions and take off for Hollywood with his D-list actress wife. He made his bed and now he's got to lay in it. And right now, that bed is very messy. Harry and Meghan had high hopes when they packed up and headed to California. They had dreams of hobnobbing with Hollywood royalty and making their mark on the West Coast. But that's not happening. Apparently, part of Harry's attraction was the fact that he was a royal. And since that's gone, the Hollywood A-listers are no longer interested which means that Harry has now joined Meghan on the dreaded D-list. Radar Online reported that a panicked Prince Harry's dream move to America with wife Meghan Markle has become a real-life nightmare, because he went from being the toast of England to the bottom of the Hollywood social circuit. Sussex's ditched palace duties in 2020 to chase fame and fortune in Meghan's old Tinseltown haunts. But sources dished as they struggle with the toxic fallout from the split with 38-year-old Harry's blue blood kin, they've been snubbed by the showbiz elite and have seen themselves sink to sealess territory. The source said, The big A-listers are seeing the Sussexes as reality TV type fodder now, and it's got Harry rattled and red-faced. He wants Meghan to think big, but of course, it's her way or the highway, so communication is awkward. Harry's learnt the harsh truth, he made his bed and now he has to lie in it. Lately, the Duke of Sussex bagged the label of sexiest ginger man alive. The 38-year-old garnered 19% of the vote, which is 5% more than the second place Ewan McGregor, Eddie Redmayne, landed on the third spot, with only 95% of total votes. The recent ranking could do well for Harry's public image, as it was recently reported that he and Meghan Markle are in a need to deliver on their Spotify deal. Royal expert Daniela Elsa claimed that the headline bait and inferences about her palace days were a sign. Given that she and Harry signed a reported $38 million deal with Spotify back in 2020, they need to deliver in some headline bait strewn about the place. Either on purpose or not, must surely only help, she wrote. Meanwhile, royal commentators Rachel Birchfield and Jessica Robinson claim that Harry's memoir has hints of Hollywood with parallels being drawn between the highly anticipated memoir and Meghan Markle's magazine covers. The hosts of Podcast Royal discussed Harry's book on the most recent episode, with Miss Robinson saying, The cover is a close-up photo of his face in what looks like the warm Californian sunlight. He's got one of those expressions where you can't really tell what he's thinking. It's not really a smile because his mouth is closed, but it's also not overly serious and I don't think he looks upset. And the photo was apparently shot by the same photographer who took Megan's photo for her Variety interview. She added, The cover of the book is giving Hollywood vibes for sure. Miss Birchfield noted the similarity between the book's cover photo and Megan's Variety cover photo, saying, It looks like a movie poster of a science fiction film. He just looks very pensive. I can definitely see the parallels between Megan's photo for Variety and his photo. Adding, It's an interesting photo, it's maybe not my favourite of Harry, but it does the job.